underside has obtained a letter from the Norwood City Auditor to City Council saying there is money available to buy new protective vests for police. This comes after a months long struggle over the needed funds. Several city leaders are reacting to this news tonight. Nine on your side's TJ Parker spoke with them. He is live now in Norwood. TJ. Well, Tanya, Norwood City Police Chief Bill Kramer says he was shocked when he found out there is actually money for those vests. And he says this after several times he was told there wasn't. I don't know exactly what happened. And honestly, I don't know where we go from here. Norwood Police Chief Bill Kramer says this letter outlining to City Council that there is money available in the budget to purchase protective vests came as a surprise. Uh, am I happy they found it if they actually have found it? Yeah, of course. Um, I'm thrilled that we can get the officer's vest. I just, I don't know where we go from here. I don't feel right putting in a purchase order if the money is actually not there. And that's just it. City Auditor James Stith tells Don on your side just because it's appropriated doesn't mean the money's there. But budgets are put together based on a expected income. Chief yeah. Kramer says he went to the city yeah, council in January yeah. saying the protective vests warranty would expire in August and he needed $19,000. Council told him there wasn't any money and to make the request again in the spring. When he did, again, he was told funds weren't available. It's just unbelievable. Ken Crawford, who has run for Norwood mayor, took to social media blasting the city about the letter. This is about upholding the public trust and if these people can't do this, I think they need to question why they're in this business. City council Councilman James Bonzel sent a statement in part saying, even though the departments are responsible for knowing what's in their own budgets, I think everybody involved will agree with me that we can all learn lessons from this situation to prevent the confusion from happening again. It's just a bad situation all the way around. Now you can read Bonzo's full statement on WCPO.com. You'll also find there a link to the auditor's website if you're interested in looking at the city budget for yourself. As for when the city will purchase these vests, well, that's still to be determined. We're live in Norwood tonight. I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.